Hello everybody, my name is King Alfie, and today marks the beginning of a brand new series. I'm going to be showing you the ins and outs of the replay mod. We're going to start at the very beginning and work our way forward to more complicated matters. So, for the purposes of this series, I'm going to assume that you know very little to nothing about the replay mod. So, if you already know quite a bit about the replay mod, this video may seem a little trivial to you. But as we move forward in the series, I'll be covering more complicated things, such as stitching two video files together to make a more fluid video, and getting the perfect angles for your time lapses. So whether you're a beginner or an expert in replay, make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up with this series, as well as my hardcore series, which will be linked in the description down below. It goes a long way towards supporting this channel and keeping it running. So let me give you a quick breakdown on how these episodes are going to go. These episodes are meant to be quick and easy to follow, and they're only going to cover one topic per episode. As such, each episode will only be roughly five minutes long, plus minus a few minutes. I'll also be recording several episodes at a time, so any feedback that you give me on an episode that just came out, you can expect it to be at least a couple episodes before I address it, because I'll have a few episodes pre-recorded in advance. Also important to keep in mind, this is a side series. My main series is still going to be my hardcore world, which I have uploaded on my channel right now. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do. I'll have it linked in the description in case you're interested. Anyways, that's the layout for this series. Let's get on with today's video though, which is going to be the controls of the replay mod. All right, we're gonna start on the home screen of Minecraft here. And also for this video, I am assuming that you have replay mod installed, downloaded, and working on your client. If you don't, I'll have a video in the top right hand corner as well as down in the description to help you out with that. But from the main menu here, you should be able to see this replay icon. This is how you're going to access all of your replays as well as the settings, which I'm gonna show you first. So the settings are in the top right hand corner and they'll have a few different things that you're probably gonna to wanna to toggle or at least that I like to toggle early game, especially this one right here, automatic recording. With that setting on, as soon as you load into the world, you're going to start recording, as well as you're going to have this big red button in the corner here. I usually don't like that. So by toggling this right here off and also the recording indicator, you'll get rid of the big button and you won't have an automatic recording either. You can also play around with any of these other settings if you'd like, but those are the two that really matter to me anyways. Now when you're in your game, you won't have a recording start automatically. If you hit the escape menu here, you'll be able to start your recording manually. And you'll also be able to pause the recording if you want to go and do something else in your world and then come back to your time lapse. And then you'll be able to resume it with the same button here. And when you're done with your recording, just hit stop recording and it'll save as soon as you exit the game. Also, while you're in game, if you want to remember a certain point in your replay, just press the M button on your keyboard and it will add an event marker that you can find later on in your replay when you're editing. Now, I've gone ahead and recorded a quick replay, which is stored in here like I showed you before, and I've renamed it to replay mod using the rename function down here. I'm not going to go over all these because they're all pretty self-explanatory. So to open this, you simply double click like joining a world and it'll bring up your replay. So I just pressed escape there to pause it, but also you can hit the play pause button in the top left hand corner. And this is one of the most commented things on my replay mod install video. To bring up the cursor, you press T as in Thomas. So I'm going to say that again, T to bring up the cursor. So now that you have that free, you can play and pause your replay at will. Right beside that you have a speed dial and that adjusts the rate at which the replay uh, is played back to you. So if I scale this up to two times speed, it'll start going two times faster. And you can go all the way up to eight times as fast. And once again, just pause that if you want to pause it anywhere. Now, you'll also see you have two different timelines here. The top one here is the full timeline of the replay file that you've recorded. So all the way from zero to the end, which in my case is two minutes and 23 seconds. The bottom timeline, however, is what your replay is going to be when you render it. So this can be however long or short you want it to be. But in order to determine how long or short the video is going to be, you need these two buttons right here, the position keyframe button and the time keyframe button. I'll go in more depth on how to use those in another video, but essentially what you need to know is the position keyframe drops the position of the camera and the time keyframe drops the time of your top timeline. Now you can have however many of those time keyframes and position keyframes as you want, but in order to render a video, you need at least two of each. And in order to play back what you have to see if that is what you want, just hit the second play button here after rewinding to the beginning of your replay, and that'll show you the camera path as well as the time scale that you have. If you're satisfied with that, 
then you can hit the render camera path button which is one of the last buttons on the screen here which will bring up the rendering screen. Now, assuming that you followed all of my instructions in my replay mod install and download tutorial, you shouldn't have to adjust anything on this screen, and as soon as you're here, you can render your video. Now, there are three more buttons on the screen that I haven't addressed yet, and two of them are right here, the zoom in and zoom out button. So that is to zoom in or out on this timeline right here, that way you can get a more accurate read on the timeline of your final replay. And the last button that I haven't touched on is this one in the bottom corner here, which brings up more buttons. <laughs> so these are going to be all of your different edits that you can do inside of Replay. And I'm going to go over these in another video as well. But essentially, these are going to be how you can roll the camera, how you can add or remove keyframes, how you can add event markers, anything you need to do. You can toggle the lighting. There are so many different things that you can do with all of these buttons that I simply don't have time to go over them all in this video. But using that small little bit of knowledge, you can actually get started with Replay, and you can make simple footage like this one here that I'm showing you right now of me spelling out Replay Mod. So that's all you really need to know to get started with Replay. In the next video, we will be going over some more of the buttons that I have down here, as well as how to properly use the time keyframes and the position keyframes. But that is all we have time for in this video. This one went a little over the 5 minute mark that I wanted to hit, but that's to be expected with an intro video. But going forward, they should be about 5-6 to six minutes each. Also, we need a name for this series, so comment down below what you think the name for this series should be. I was thinking something along the lines of the Replay Academy or something like that, but let me know what you think of that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and if this did help you, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!